Hello, I'm Lelda Smith for the Finance News Network and joining me at ASX Investor Series in Perth is Jason Chesters, Resource Analyst at Patterson Securities. Jason, welcome. Thanks for having me. Jason, the end of the financial year is almost here. How would you rate the performance of the ASX 200 in fiscal 2015? The ASX has performed poorly relative to other international markets, particularly the developed world, um, at around 0.6% performance in local currency terms. Um, that ranks fairly poorly relative to most of the others. When you translate that into US dollars, the performance unfortunately is even worse. Um, I think it's around minus 16 or minus 17, which in our table of rankings is, is the lowest performing uh, market in, um, in, the, in the developed world. Certainly. So which stocks or sectors have really influenced that performance over the year? So healthcare and, and, and telecoms um, and utilities for that matter. Most of the, uh, the traditional defensive sectors have performed really well and that, that performance has been consistent over the last one, three and five years. Um, and the, the, the materials and energy sector and unfortunately consumer staples as well have performed poorly. Uh, and that again is consistent over all three periods, one, three and five years. Uh, and unfortunately, because um, those sectors also have fairly large weights, particularly when you include financials, which has also performed poorly um, over one year, when you look at the, the performance of those, of those sectors and the weights that they have in the index, that's what's dragged down the overall performance of the ASX. Now, Jason, as a resources <coughs> analyst, how would you rate the performance of miners as they adjust to the end of the mining boom? I think all the miners in general have been doing the right things. Uh, in, in, in a difficult market with commodity prices coming off uh, and investor sentiment fairly poor towards the sector, um, miners have been doing the right things in, in terms of uh, focusing on cost out programs um, and that is helping the bottom line. Uh, what's also happening is that they're reducing um, a, a, a capital expenditure programs uh, and that is also helping the bottom line. Uh, and then ultimately, the, the weaker Australian dollar will translate into, into improved profits uh, when translated into, into Australian dollars, of course. Um, so that should also help them um, from a financial perspective. So Jason, could you give us some examples of some companies? Sure. Um, most of the majors are, are, are following cost up programs. So BHP, Rio clearly are, are, are doing that. Um, Woodside as well, so following cost up programs, reducing CapEx. Um, all, all of the other major royals are doing the same thing. So it seems to be a um, sort of across the board uh, program that all, the, that all the companies are following. So looking at the broader benchmark index, what themes can investors expect in the second half? I think stock selection in, in general is, is something that, um, that astute investors or astute stock selection um, uh, is an area that would be, re that would be rewarded. Um, so investors should focus on that. Um, from, a, from, a, from a broader sector perspective, those that, are, that I mentioned that have performed particularly well over the last one, three and five years, um, from a just purely a PE rating perspective, are starting to look full, uh, certainly above their historic norms. Um, in, in those sectors, I think um, stock selection is key. In some of the other sectors where um, the underperformance over the last few periods has now, has now resulted in them, in them presenting an, underperform, uh, sorry, an undervalued uh, position, um, potentially there's more of a sort of a general sector performance potential um, over the rest of the over the rest of the year for them. And finally, what is your outlook for the following year and what impact do you believe commodity price fluctuations will have on the market? So I think commodity prices in general have already come off quite 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 dramatically. Um, that's in large part due to I think the world coming to terms with a slower rate of growth in China uh, and also an over um, an over investment in supply. That, to a large degree, I think is 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 going to is going to permeate throughout the rest of the year. Um, so we don't really see much in the way of, of of dramatic price increases for most commodities. There are some exceptions, uh, but in 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 general terms, from a from a from an Australian and, a, and specifically a WA economy perspective, the key drivers are clearly um, coal, iron ore, um, oil and gas, uh, and in those sectors, I think we are. We, we, are, we, we are near the bottom. I don't, I'm not expecting too much more in, in terms of downside for, for those. Excellent. Well, Jason Chesters, thank you for the update from Patterson Securities. Thank you very much.